I'm glad to say that we won. Judge Rebecca Dallet and her supporters celebrated a big win Tuesday night. The Milwaukee Circuit Court judge notched a double digit victory in the officially nonpartisan race for state Supreme Court. She beat Sauk County Circuit Court Judge Michael Skrenok by 12 points. Dallet's victory is the second time this year that Wisconsin Democrats have cheered a win by a female candidate. The first was Patty Schockner, who won her race for State Senate District 10 in January. Across the country, the number of female candidates is surging. More than 300 women are running for the House of Representatives. That's a record. 40 women are running for governor. Another record. Most are Democrats, but not all. So could 2018 be the year of the woman in politics? We are asking Martha Lanning, who is chair of the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Chairwoman Lanning, good to have you back on the program. It's great to be here. So, so let me begin by asking you why so many women are running in this election year and, and what do you see as the potential impact on the November elections? Well, I think as women, we really care about our communities and the future of our families, our parents. I mean, we're caregivers and we, we're concerned about what's happening. And people are motivated like I've never seen before. Um, it, it is exciting to see women stepping up because they are such phenomenal leaders like Senator Tammy Baldwin, who brought the government back together when it was shut down with other women uh, in Congress. Um, we're excited about having women step forward because quite frankly, I think they've shown that they're great leaders and uh, better leaders in these divisive politics that we see happening right now. You say women are motivated. What, what is motivating them right now? Well, I, when I'm talking to the women that are stepping up to run, you know, they want to know that every child has an opportunity for a quality education, and they're concerned about the choices that are being made there. They're concerned about health care. They see people who have worked, you know, hard their entire life, and they're concerned about even being able to retire, because how am I going to be able to afford these health care costs? People are concerned about their neighbors, women are, and they want to get into office and not allow this divisive political, you know, the big money coming from outside of our state uh, to try to influence things. They want to step in and they want to be sure that the people are being represented and that we're doing things to create an economy that works for everyone. Uh, give me a sense of, of your take on what happened in the Patty Schockner race and uh, in northwestern Wisconsin and the Rebecca Dallet race, which again is officially nonpartisan, but she had the endorsement of major Democratic political figures. What do you think happened there? Well, first, I think Patty Schockner was a great candidate who came out and talked about what she would do, what she would work for, and it was she was talking about things that mattered to the people in her community. But secondly, I think we as Democrats did a much better job of ensuring that we were out talking to their neighbors and listening to what are the issues that were most important to them. We need to be sure that we find out what a voter is concerned about and then share with them what that candidate would do for that. And that's what we did in the 10th. Do Democrats see um, the blue wave happening this fall? Or are you a bit too gleeful taking these results in lower turnout elections and, and extrapolating them into victories in November? How do you feel about November, uh, despite the fact it's going to be a very different turnout model? There was a lot of hard work put into these victories. A lot of people getting out and talking to their neighbors and our you know, team working together to be sure that that message was getting out at what a stark difference there was. Rebecca Dallet is a person who wanted fairness and transparency to keep big special interest money not being able to influence our, our justice system, while her opponent was a hand-picked Scott Walker appointee. It was his lawyer, Governor Walker's lawyer. Um, and, and the people came out strongly to say, we want fairness and we want people who represent us. We don't want these divisive politics of Governor Walker. And then when you looked at the treasurer referendum, them too. I mean, a huge uh, victory for fairness and transparency. We need to have someone who is over giving oversight to our finances here in Wisconsin, and Governor Walker lost big there too. I want to ask you about the, uh, the, the elections that are just around the corner now. We're having special elections in the 1st Senate District in the northeastern part of the state. What do you think your chances are of winning that seat, a Democrat winning the 1st Senate District seat? Well, we are hard at work on those elections and thrilled that the judges forced Governor Walker to call those elections. We believe that he was running away from them because he too knows that his agenda has not been delivering to the people of Wisconsin. I believe our chances are very good there. We are in a gerrymandered state and we know it will be not easy. We need everybody to get out and talk to the people and help us show just what phenomenal candidates, and we do have two phenomenal candidates running in those positions. Um, Rebecca Dallet won Senate District one and it's a dead heat in the other one. So I think our chances are good, but we're not taking anything for granted. This is about boots on the ground and hard work and everyone working together. Final question. Do you welcome 
outside help from people like Eric Holder and Tom Steyer, the California billionaire who was on this program recently, do you want them to play a major role in campaigns in Wisconsin in this fall election? I think when people are speaking about our Wisconsin values and talking about bringing fairness and transparency and pushing back on the Republican Party buying our Supreme Court, of course we're happy that other people are coming forward and talking about those things. But we in the Democratic Party are really focused on getting to the grassroots, listening to our neighbors, and standing up for the issues that matter to them because we believe that every Wisconsinite deserves an opportunity for success and we believe that we all deserve an economy that works for all of us, not just those at the top. Martha Lanning is the chairwoman of the Wisconsin Democratic Party. Good to have you back on the program. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, is asking if you think a blue wave is headed for Wisconsin. You'll find the question and the results by following WISPolitics.com on Twitter. Coming up next, hard choices at UW-Stevens Point. The university's plan to cut some majors and the pushback it's generated.